voltage phasing out. In this video, we are going to see the phase angle between one source to another phase source is phase shifted by 30 degree or not or some other angle, whether it is leading angle or lagging angle like that we have to see that one. In this video, it is explained about the phasing out of two source voltages and how it is used in the system. For example, transformer, generator, similar before synchronization like that. So this is one of the important things here. Phasing out is a test performed on energized multi-phase circuits from different sources to ensure that like phases are connected. That means if two circuits are there, they are having in phase with them and they can be synchronized. That is a logic behind it. Here in figure you see circuit 1 is there, that PT1 is from the circuit 1. Circuit 2 is there, the PT is connected to that circuit 2. Suppose in an industry, two substations are there. One substation is receiving a power from one side. Another uh, substation receiving from other side. Now both are in phase or both are from the same grid. We have to confirm it. This is like if it is, to confirm that one we are calling as a phasing out. If both are same phases then these two are connected or synchronized or you can say interconnect between uh, circuit 1 and circuit 2. If we are, it is not in phase we cannot synchronize or connect the two circuits. That is the logic behind it. How to find out whether these are in phase or out of phases? That is why phasing out test is carried out. Phasing out test can be carried out in transformers or before synchronization to confirm it. Not synchronization, before coming at the time of testing and other things, we have to do it. That is. Two source voltages are connected to terminals as given below. Here you see four terminals R, Y, B and neutral in the left side and four terminals in the right side R, Y, B and neutral. That is left side terminals are connected to source 1 voltages. Right side terminals are connected to source 2 voltages. Now we can say left side source 1 voltage terminals, right side is source 2 voltage terminals. Source 2 voltages are leading source 1 voltage by 30 degree. This is a statement they had given it. That is 4 terminals for source 1, 4 terminals for source 2. Source 2 voltage is leading source 1 voltage by 30 degree. Or in other ways, source 1 voltage is lagging source 2 voltage by 30 degree. Confirm it with the voltmeter. You should not use oscilloscope or any other uh, instrument to measure the angle. That is phase angle meter like that. You have to use only voltmeter. That is the needed question here. How to do it? Now we will see one by one. Before that one, we will see the fundamental of that. Uh, fundamental. Here, two transformers. Case 1 we will first analyze, then we will go for case 2. Two transformers, 230 bar 230 volt transformers are connected as one in case 1. Case 1, that is the secondary of the transformers, A2 and B1 are shorted. Now we have to measure the voltage across A1 and B2. A1 connected to the R phase voltage source, A2 is neutral, B1 is connected to Y phase voltage, ter voltage terminal. B2 is neutral. Now 230 volt angle 0 is applied in across A1 and A2. 230 angle minus 120 is applied across B1 and B2. What is the voltage in the across A1 and B2? Here two voltages are added. That is the second voltage is added because B2 B1 and A2 are shorted. That is Vx equal to Vrn plus Vyn equal to Vbn. 
Vx is equal to 230 angle 0 plus 230 angle minus 120 is equal to 230 minus 60 volt. That is reversal of other phase, blue phase. Blue phase voltage is 230 angle 120. Reversal of that one is 230 angle minus 60. Now case 2. Two numbers of transformer, 230 bar 230 volt transformer are connected as shown in figure case 2. That is A2 and B2 are shorted together. If we apply voltage across A1 A2, R phase voltage 230 volt angle 0 and B1 B2, VON voltage 230 VON voltage 230 angle minus 120. What is the voltage across Vx? That is say Vx equal to Vrn minus VON security Vry. Vx equal to 230 angle 0 minus 230 angle minus 120 that is equal to 398 angle 30 volt that is phase to phase voltage is appearing here earlier case it is reversal of blue phase here phase to phase voltage is in other ways we can say phase to phase voltage is a difference of two voltages Here, four terminals are there, R, Y, B, and N. We measure the voltage across terminal B and N, Y and N. V O N equal to 230 angle minus 120. V V N equal to 100 angle 120. Our question is, what is V Y B? What is V B Y? As we have seen earlier, the same method we have to adopt here. V1 is equal to VYB equal to VYN minus VBN. 230 angle 120 minus 100 angle 120. That is equal to 293 angle minus 102. V2 is equal to VBY equal to VBN minus VYN. 100 angle 120 minus 230 angle minus 120. That is equal to 293 angle 282. Now V1 and V2 if you compare 180 degree phase shifted. Magnitude wise both are same. Four terminals are there. Right side four terminals are there. R, Y, B, N capital letters are source 1 terminals. R, Y, B, N small letters are source 2 voltages. Here we are receiving the voltages from source 1 and source 2. First, you measure the voltages across phase and neutral. Measure phase to neutral voltage of source 1 and source 2. Vpn, phase to neutral equal to 63.5 volt. That is, if you say the primary system, that will be 110 kV, 6.6 kV, 220 kV like that. If you say second side, phase to neutral voltage is 63.5 volt. Phase to phase voltage is 110 volt. It is applicable for all measuring unit that is relays, meters, transducers like that. Number two, measure phase to phase voltages of source one and source two. V peak to peak equal to 110 volt. If V peak V peak to peak voltage equal to 63.5 volt, one phase is reversed. That is. 60, actually, 60, V is equal to 63.5 volt minus 63.5 angle minus 120 equal to 110 angle 30. If one phase is reversed, that is a Y phase is reversed, assume Y phase is reversed. V is equal to 63.5 angle 0 minus 63.5 angle minus 300 equal to 63.5 angle minus 60. That is one phase voltage is reversed here. So, you first we have to correct it. If all voltages are 110 volt, so phase to phase voltage is correct. Check the right second using sequence meter. That is a VRN, VON, VBN angle or lagging angle or 120 degree. VON is lagging VRN by 120 degree. VBN is leading V, leading VRN by 120 degree. It is applicable for both source 1 and source 2. So, right sequence means uh, 
the sequence is correct. If it is wrong sequence means uh, that is Y and B phase are reversed like that. So we have to check which phase is correct, which one is correct, which is wrong like that and we have to consider as a right sequence only. If the terminals are showing, terminal voltages are connected right sequence, your sequence meter rotate correctly and it will show right sequence. Number four, measure source one voltages with reference to source two neutral and measure two source two voltages with reference to source one. That is uh, to confirm neutral is connected both together. That is both neutral are same voltages. First we have to confirm that one. Then only next steps are easy to carry out. So now we are seeing it phase to neutral voltage, phase to phase voltages and sequence and the neutral both neutral are tied together. That is first important there. Consider VRN as reference voltages. Source 2 voltages are leading source 1 by 30 degree. That is uh, source 2 is leading 30 degree or source 1 lagging 30 degree. So VRN is equal to 63.5 angle 0. VYN is equal to 63.5 angle minus 120. VBN is equal to 63. angle 120. This is for source 1 voltages. VRN is equal to 63. 0.5 angle 30, VON is equal to 63.5 angle minus 90, VBN equal to 63.5 angle 150. That is a source 2. Source 2 is leading source 1. That is why VRN of source 2 angle is 63.5 uh, 63 angle 30. Now, in the right side, in the top, you see the vector connections of source 1 voltage and source 2 voltages. For source 2 is leading source 1 by 30 degree. Now, we are going to measure voltages across terminals. That is, with reference to source 2, source 1 voltages we are going to measure it. First is R phase voltages. With reference to source 2 R phase, we measure the source 1 R Y B voltages and plotted here. First R phase, then Y phase and B phase of source 1 with reference to source 2 R phase. You see in the table R phase to R phase 63.5 angle 0 minus 63.5. 5 angle 30. In the second table you see 63.5 minus angle 0 minus 63.5 angle 30 is equal to 30 volt that is plotted here. So if we measure the voltages across terminals between source 1 ROIB2 and source 2 ROIB2 are plotted here that is 33 volt, 123 volt, 90 volt, 90 volt, 33 volt and 123 volt, 123 volt, 90 volt and 33 volt. If voltages are shown above, then source 2 voltages are leading source 1 voltages by 30 degree. Now we are going to see 30 degree lagging. Here in the right side, you see the vector diagram of voltages of source 1 voltage and source 2 voltages. Source 2 voltage is lagging source 1 by 30 degree. Voltage is across terminals. Consider VRN as reference and source 2 voltages are lagging source 1 by 30 degree. So VRN is equal to that is source 1 voltages. VRN is equal to 63.5 angle 0. VYN is equal to 63.5 angle minus 120. VBN equal to 63.5 angle 120. Source 2 voltages. VRN is equal to 63.5 angle minus 30. VYN equal to 63.5 minus 150. VBN is equal to 63.5 angle 90. Now we measure the voltages as we have done earlier and plotted here. That is a Source 1 voltages, ROIB voltages, we measured with reference to source 2 R phase. Then 
source and voltages R Y B. We measure the voltages with reference to source to Y phase. Similarly, in the phase B phase, 90 volt, 123 volt, 123 volt, 33 volt, 90 volt, 90 volt, 123 volt, 33 volt. If the voltages are shown as above, then source two voltages are lagging source one voltages by 30 degree. If suppose both are in phase, then R phase to R phase, Y phase to Y phase, B phase to B phase equal to zero. Voltage is equal to zero. Then phase to phase voltage R to Y, Y to B, B to R like that. That is our 110 volt. That means uh, no phase shifting between source 1 voltage and source 2 voltages. You see in this diagram, top of the right side of the diagram, top of the right side of the diagram, R phase, that is a source 2 voltages are lagging with respect to source 1 voltage by 30 degree. The source 2 terminals are connected to resistive load. Now we are going to see the current in the source 2 with reference to source 1 voltages. If voltage measured voltages are phased neutral of source 1, source 2 and also source 2 neutral to source 1 phase, source 2, source 1 neutral to source 2 phase are equal to 63.5 volt. V peak to peak are 110 volt and the voltage across terminals are as below 33 volt, 90 volt, 123 volt, 123 volt, 33 volt, 90 volt, 90 volt, 123 volt, 33 volt. Then currents in resistive loads are lagging by 30 degree. Now, YD lemon transformer is connected to the PTs, star delta transformer. Left side is star, right side is delta. This star side transformer connected to a PT, that is we can say source 1 PT. Delta side transformer connected to PT, that we can say source 2 PT. The PT secondaries are connected to the control panel or relay panel in the control room. Whatever the voltages are there, that is reflection of the primary system. If suppose the transformer is 220 kV bar 110 kV, source on PT is 220 kV bar 110 volt. Delta side PT, that is source to PT, is 110 kV bar 110 volt. Whatever the voltage is there, that will be reflected in into the secondary of the source 1 PT, second source 2 PT that is connected to the terminals in the control room, in the control panel. Is we measure the voltages as earlier and recorded in the table. If the voltages are 33 volt as per in table 1, 33 volt, 123 volt, 90 volt, 90 volt, 33 volt, 123 volt, 123 volt, 90 volt, 33 volt. The source 2 voltages are leading source 1 by 30 degree. If the voltages are as in table 2, 33 volt, 90 volt, 123 volt, 123 volt, 33 volt, 90 volt. 90 volt, 123 volt, 33 volt. Then the source 2 voltages are lagging source 1 voltages by 30 degree. This is one of the tests to confirm system is connected as per design. Thank you very much for watching this video.